Hey, what's up guys, you know, Spess here. Google just held their initial keynote for the Google I.O. conference that they hold every single year. And they talk about a lot of new software products and hardware products that are gonna be launching. So it's a ton of stuff I need to cover. I'm just gonna jump right into it. And one of the first things they talked about was Google Play Game Services, which is gonna be taking aim at Game Center on iOS. Uh, so this new service coming from Google is gonna allow for you to have cloud savings. So um, you start a particular game on your phone, like your Nexus 4, um, then you pick it up on your Nexus tablet, it'll be able to recognize that exactly where you left off um, so you'll be synced across all of your different devices it's going to have achievements it's going to also have multiplayer matchmaking the cool thing about the multiplayer is that it's going to work on ios and android devices so if i'm playing a racing game on my iphone i can challenge somebody who's on a galaxy s4 so that's going to have that that cross-platform multiplayer which is going to be awesome now, another awesome hardware announcement is that Google and Samsung are going to be teaming up to bring a special version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. This version will be running stock Android, so it's not going to have TouchWiz, nothing like that. It's going to be running stock Android, just like the Nexus devices. And so it's going to work on AT&T and T-Mobile. It'll also come with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. They'll have LTE and also have an unlocked bootloader. And so you'll be able to buy this thing starting in June from the Google Play Store for $649. Now, another new thing that has been in the talks for a while now is Google play music all access and this is going to be taking on the likes of Spotify so it's going to be a music subscription service where you can actually stream music and also create personalized radio stations so you can select certain artists and and make a radio station out of them and so the service is basically going to take all the songs that are already in existence on the Google Play Store and allow you to be able to sign up for $9.99 a month so $10 a month you'll be able to stream this music now for early adopters you can sign up right now and you get a free 30-day trial then if you elect to do it um, after that it'll only be $7.99 for a month so um, it's not that bad at all and I think the service is really gonna be taking on that whatever Apple's gonna be doing as far as their music streaming but also to the likes of Spotify right now and now on a Google Plus where Google is adding a ton of new features to it. First, the look of it is going to change. So when you go to your, your regular homepage, uh, now the stream is going to look different. It's going to have a multi-column design, uh, which just uh, to me it just looks a lot more pleasing to the eye. Uh, but then also two photos and videos are going to be bigger and uh, really on the forefront uh, when you're looking at your information. Then also I have the card system now. So now within a certain window, you actually be able to go and see more information just by hitting the arrow button or hitting another button. So you don't have to scroll to another page or anything like that like that and then also it's going to have related hashtags so Google showed an example of the Eiffel Tower now what Google is able to analyze that picture and it saw that in the picture itself that you took a picture of the Eiffel Tower so it made a hashtag of that now if you were to actually leave a description under that picture saying I just visited the Eiffel Tower yesterday here's my picture of it it'll go ahead and make that hashtag off of what you said um, in that description as well but I think it's pretty cool that it automatically makes hashtags and again if it messes up you can delete certain hashtags or you can turn this feature off uh, totally if you just don't want to have it do that but I think it's pretty cool to be able to automatically do that and now moving on Google also announced a new standalone hangouts application that's going to be available for iOS and Android and this is going to really going to be taking on iMessage so this application is going to allow you to have all your conversations synced amongst all your different devices and also going to have conversation history so you can actually archive all the different um, stuff that you're talking about in a particular message and also it will show you the person who's typing especially if you're in a group chat and then also it'll show you you know exactly where people have read in that whole conversation thread then of course you can also do video chats with this application and I have downloaded it at the time of this video and I would tell you it's a pretty slick application I'll have a separate video showing you my experience with it uh, but this new Google Hangouts application is available right now it's gonna be absolutely free and again it's gonna be available on iOS and Android and now on to photos. Now Google Plus allows you to upload full resolution pictures to Google Plus. So say you take an eight megapixel picture or 13 megapixels, you can upload that full picture to it to get the best quality. But now Google can actually pick out the best pictures for you. So say you upload um, probably 500 pictures from your vacation, but you don't want to go through each one of them and find the best ones. Google can do that for you by analyzing certain things. Like if you have duplicates, so if you took the picture of the same thing uh, multiple times, it'll kind of get rid of those extra ones. And also too, if it's a blurry picture or the exposure is wacky on it it'll just disregard those and it'll try to find the ones that you know people are smiling in or if you have a pictures that it recognizes that these people are your friends or your family that you have multiple pictures of them it'll pick those and then they talked about their auto enhancements capabilities so you don't need to be a, a a photo editor to be able to get your pictures looking the best way possible um, now you'll be able to go through there and they'll be able to you know of course analyze your wrinkles in your skin and get rid of them uh, with skin softening and other things like that I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about that but you can check out uh, different sources for all the information but it has a lot of different new tools to be able to make your pictures better from what you actually took 
Now the next thing that Google talked about was Google search and they talked about a ton of different things as well. But the main thing I got from this now uh, with Google search is the voice recognition and the hot word really uh, recognition now. So say I'm sitting in front of my computer and I have Google open now and I can just simply say, okay, Google, what time does the Miami Heat game come on tonight? So I don't have to press a button or nothing like that. The hot word was okay, Google, then it automatically started listening to what I was going to say, which I think is gonna be very, very useful. Now, another Google product that's also getting an overhaul is Google Maps. Google is gonna be changing and simplifying the UI even more, getting rid of a lot of clutter and things like that. And also they're gonna be introducing the new card interface that you've seen with Google Now and other products that we've been talking about. And then features like underwater imagery and also being able to go into buildings themselves and take a 360 tour around them and different things like that are, are getting um, included or are gonna be getting better. Then they also show where you can zoom all the way out and so you can see the earth and its clouds and the, the stars in relation to the earth and also the sun and everything will be in its exact location and updated in real time so Google Maps uh, is going to be getting some very very nice feature upgrades and so if you want to be one of the first to try out Google Maps you can go to maps.google.com forward slash preview and go in and request your invitation and then Google also showed off some updates to the notification system. So say I do swipe away a notification on my Nexus 4, it'll automatically get rid of that notification on my Nexus 7 or another Android device, which is definitely going to be a godsend for a lot of people who have a lot of notifications to deal with. Uh, then also too, they showed off uh, Google Chrome Gaming, where you're able to launch Google Chrome on an iOS device, an Android device, um, on a tablet and a cell phone. It showed multiple people using all those devices to play one single game. And it's really something you have to see, uh, but I think it's pretty impressive. And I'm really just waiting to see that what they can do in the future with that. All right, so that wraps up my recap of Google I.O. 2013. Now, again, I didn't cover every single thing. You can watch the entire keynote yourself. If you want to see all the stuff that Google announced. But I think all the things they showed off is that they, they're just really showing that Google is hard at work to make every single thing better from Google Plus to Google Search and also the Google Maps. So, again, I'll have individual videos covering some of the things I talked about um, in this video coming up very soon. So make sure you do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. But other than that, guys, I want to see what you guys think about Google I.O. Leave a comment down below. No, there were no new Nexus devices, nothing like that, but uh, we'll definitely probably hear something about that a little bit later on this year. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching this video, and I will catch you later. Peace.